Yes, the time has come for another figure review of SH Figure Arts, Freddie Mercury. Another entry in the SH Figure Arts line of real actual people. And let me tell you one thing. I am a huge fan of this legend. So I'm super excited. Super stoked to have a look at Freddie Mercury in figure form. So let's not waste any more time. You've seen the box. It is Freddie Mercury from the legendary Rumley Stadium concert. He's got the look. He got the pose over here and a nice golden and the signature. Very good. Let's get to the figure. And there he is. The man, the myth, the legend, the one and only Freddie Mercury in figure form finally uh, what a beautiful day it is I kinda wanna sing some Queen songs but uh, I mean the sun is the sun is shining outside and once it starts singing it's gonna rain again so let's not do that I'm just gonna give you an overall look real quick before we dive in into the nitty gritty so first of all the face oh my goodness does it look like Freddy? Yes, it does look like Freddy. And I think that's like the new 3D printer stuff they have. The only complaint I see right here is uh, not really a lot of white in his eyes. I don't know. I don't know if that's just me, if that's on everyone. But his eyes are kind of meh. I mean, just because of the missing white, other than that, not because of the actual quality of the eyes and his hair kind of up here also looks pretty weird I guess they tried to make like you know a little hair that stands out but they should have just left that anyway other than that the face looks amazing so let me have a look at the height real quick he stands in about a little over 14 centimeters almost 14.5 which would make him um, almost six inches just shy of six inches so we've seen that sculpt it's very amazing but there's a lot of other detail you can actually see if the camera would focus there's actual chest hair in there wow nicely done uh, you know it's little little things like that that you really can appreciate all of his belts along with the belt buckles are painted up here nicely detailed a lot of wrinkles going on in the jacket, the pants, and the shirt. Nice golden lines going on over here. Kind of disrupted by the joints, but what are you going to do? And very, very nicely detailed shoes. Down to the actual downside of the shoes. All the way there. Nothing missing. Alrighty then, let's get to the articulation. Hand moves around, up, goes up very far actually, goes down, well not so much but you have the neck articulation to help it with it. And actually the hair kind of continues on the neck which is pretty cool. So when you're moving around it's not, it's not getting disrupted at all. It's always, the hairline's always there. And neck articulation moving around and the head moving side to side a little bit also. So there's really not more, not much more you can ask for. The shoulders. I have like a big ball in here with the floating piece which is kind of jammed in there fairly tightly so it is floating maybe it's attached to some point at the at the joint I can't really see that but I can't it uh, there you go it, it kind of moves around I don't know if it moves up really it could move it alongside the joint I mean I don't think it's connected anywhere so floating piece soft floating piece doesn't get in the way too much Goes up fairly nicely, down, and forward and back, actually all the way around without messing things up. Cool. Got the elbow joints, classic, classic stuff. And down to the fist, you can see the ball in there. A little bit hindered by the jacket. Goes up, off, see. That's, uh, that's one of the problems of these things. Doesn't go down that much, doesn't go up and goes around all the way though 
the jacket is actually glued to the chest which is something something you should know and as you can see if I've already kind of tore it off a little bit but there's definitely there's definitely some stuff in there and it's not supposed to come off so you get torso articulation which is uh, I mean let me see I want to turn spins around goes around kind of stiff a little bit but uh, it goes out all the way goes forward and back. I, again, it's kind of stiff to rotate it around without rotating down here. But it's there, it's functioning. I don't know how much you can get out of it really. You really have to force it. But it's there, it's working. It goes forward fairly nicely. Doesn't go back as much. But that's why you got the articulation here at the hip. It rotates around nicely, goes forward and back. And we have the soft crotch part which is something they seem to be doing recently which is okay it's actually it's actually not it's not like a play out sky like it's not flow I think it's connected somewhere because it's not it stays in place is what I'm trying to say the legs move out side to side like that goes forward and back since this is soft plastic, it doesn't get in the way, it really bends at will, which is pretty cool. I like that. And I like also that it's not floating, because that kind of gets in the way. Anyway, knee joints, classic stuff. You have the ball in here, which kind of leaves a little gap in the back, but it covers up the big gap in the front. doesn't have a great conversion here, but it's because of the wrinkled pants, which look good overall, so no complaints there. Down to the feet, which are actually very limited. It looks like there's a single peg that kind of goes from here to there. Again, the shoes look great, but wow, it's it's really it's super limited. I don't know. It's like you, like you see, there's there's not really much going on, and if you spin it around a lot, since this part stays in place, it doesn't look so great. So, so next up are the accessories. I'm gonna give you another look at this face, which it comes with and two regular fist hands comes with this face where there's actually some more white in his eyes from what I can tell this these ones look better and we have that one everything in there is fully detailed fully painted wow nicely done he also comes with a microphone on a stand, on like a staff more, more precisely. It doesn't really have a stand. Just like a nice silver metallic microphone holder and a completely black microphone, which again, it's, there's, there's, some, there's some sparkles, there's some particles in there. Particles? Is that what you call it? I don't know. He has a microphone, it's black and it's kind of shiny, so there you go. And just a regular microphone to hold. And that is that. Finally, he comes with hands. Like the open palm hands. Then there's definitely this one. These ones definitely dare to hold the microphone with or without the stand. I'm, I'm actually going to try that out real quick. Once you've got a look at this. Open palm hand and like the more closed. As well just all to hold microphones. Kind of limited on the hands. So let me go ahead and look at this one. Can uh, kind of put that in like that. That's really too. Doesn't really do anything else in that. I don't know if you can pull it up through the finger here and maybe make it go down. No. No, that doesn't really work. And does it hold? No, it doesn't really hold the regular mic. Can you hold it? I mean, he, well, he wouldn't hold it like that. Who holds a microphone like that? What planet is this? Microphone does go into this one though. And I guess this is only for the microphone. Wow, this is this is very tight. You can you can hear it, it's all in that. And I haven't even haven't even begun to really get it in. Probably also, yeah, it's much better for this one because the staff is a lot smaller than the actual microphone, so not as tight of a fit. So that's gonna wrap things up for the SH Figure Arts Freddie Mercury. What do I think about this figure? 
it's amazing. The fine detail in the face and really everything else, the execution is perfect. And it just looks great. Articulation wise, it's kind of... It's really just the feet that aren't so great. And a little limited around the hands. But other than that, it's regular SH figure art stuff, which is usually very good. The only thing I wish he had was actually more faces. I don't know, one or two more would have been cool. So, and as for the rest of it, it just... wow. Color is great, detail is great, the face sculpt is absolutely out of this world. And it's... it's Freddy, guys. It looks like Freddy. You can pose him like Freddy and... What more do you want? I thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and maybe subscribe. I have more figure reviews coming up, gameplay stuff and whatever I want. Goodbye.